I don't know about you, but I have protein goals and I love making really yummy high protein vegan recipes and I love sharing them with you guys. So we did a video a few weeks ago and you really enjoyed it. So let's do a round two. We're going to start off with our apple crisp protein bagels, 36 grams of protein per bagel. So if you know my protein bagels, these are pretty much like the same recipe, just a fall version. So we're making that apple crisp topping first with just oats, vegan butter, brown sugar, mix it up, set it to the side. Then we're going to add all-purpose flour or bread flour, vital wheat gluten, which is what's giving this the protein, baking powder, salt, mix up your dry ingredients, get them well incorporated. Then we're going to add in apple cider vinegar, a little bit of agave, or you can use maple syrup. And then I actually had leftover like vegan whey from making my homemade vegan maple cream cheese. So that's what I'm using here. And I will also have the vegan cream cheese recipe linked down below for you guys. Then we're going to add in some chopped apples and that's our dough. And then I divided that into two. So this makes two bagels. And then I formed my little dough balls into a bagel shape. And then once you get into the bagel shape, you'll put the little apple crisp topping on there. And don't worry, this is a fully written out recipe on the blog. So you could always check out the description box for the blog and the recipes down below. And these are the bagels when they're all done being baked. You can also air fry these again. Just check out the blog. It has all the information. And these are so good. They're full of apples and they're so delicious and a great way to start your day. For my lunch, I made a vegan egg salad. I made four servings from this. So that was 15 grams of protein per serving, or you could of course do three servings, two servings. It depends on how long you want to kind of eat this for. So I first took my extra firm tofu or you could use firm tofu and I'm just going to cut it up into cubes. If you use firm tofu, it has like slightly less protein. So it would slightly change the macros if you care. And then I only had a little bit of vegan mayo, like literally a tablespoon. So I'm throwing that in there. You could of course do more. And I'm going to add in Kite Hills vegan Greek style yogurt. And we're going to use that to help make everything creamy. Then we're just going to add like the usual seasonings, nutritional yeast, turmeric, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. You can really customize this to how you like. It's a pretty simple, straightforward recipe. But I like to keep this in the fridge because it just works so well then for, you know, eating it with veggies and on bread and it comes out delicious. It's truly one of my favorites. So once it looks like this, I just pop it in the fridge and then when I'm ready to eat it, I eat it <laughs> and the turmeric will develop more so that it turns more yellow. I had made these homemade vegan crescent rolls and I put the egg salad on there, the vegan egg salad, and oh my goodness, that was really good. For my dinner, I made these loaded fries, three servings, 22 grams of protein per serving. So we're starting off with some French fries. I'm just going to air fry these. These are like supposed to kind of be like curly fries. They're not very twisty. I was a little upset. And I'm also going to air fry some broccoli. And this is frozen broccoli going straight in the air fryer. Again, all directions will be down below in the description box. And I'm going to cook up some vegan ground beef. I really like the one from Abbott's Butcher. I'm adding a little spray oil and some seasonings. Again, garlic powder, onion powder. I keep it very simple and easy you know, during the week. And I added a little red pepper flakes for a little heat. Once everything was done air frying, I added garlic powder and onion powder to the broccoli and the fries. And if you've never air fried frozen veggies, they seriously come out so good. So you need to try. And those are our little French fries. I'm adding my seasonings on. And I love this because it's like, it's like a loaded fries. Like it's really good. And like, I guess if you ever had like disco fries or anything like that, that's what I was kind of going for here a little. And this is the vegan beef when it's all done. So then I got three little containers and I'm just equally dividing up all the components. So my broccoli and then my French fries. And what I love is that this is like a full meal. Like we hit all the nutrients in here. We got our veggies. Like this is such an easy one for when you're really tired and you just want to whip something out of the, you know, the fridge. This is good to go. So I'm going to add in the vegan beef as well. And then I wanted to add in some refried beans. So I did that, put a little scoop on there. And then I'm also going to add some vegan cheese. And then these will go in the fridge. And I'm using this one from Trader Joe's, which is very good. So these are pretty much done now. They're just going to go in the fridge and hang out until I'm ready to eat dinner. When I want to eat them, I will microwave them. I put them in a nice bowl for you guys in a second to be fancy. But realistically... I'm using glass so I could just microwave right in there and have less dirty dishes. So I put it in there and then I microwaved it one to two minutes until it was warm and everything was like melty. Then I added on some buffalo sauce or sometimes I do salsa and the vegan Greek yogurt again. And there we go. Super simple, super delicious. I had some sugar snap peas on the side of this and really like comforting, cozy and so, so good. And then for dessert wanted to do something different so i made this protein cake so good 17 grams of protein per serving there's five servings in the cake we're going to start off with some vanilla protein powder unfortunately this one is discontinued but a, a pea protein vanilla protein powder is great then we're going to add in flour and we're going back in with vital wheat gluten 
I think vital wheat gluten is going to be the secret to all my high protein recipes now. So then I'm also adding in some cinnamon and baking powder. Again, just check out the description box for full written out everything. So then mix that up, all my dry ingredients. Now for my wet, I'm going to add in ripple non-dairy milk. You guys know I love that one. A vegan egg replacer. This is the one from Bob's Red Mill. Or you'd use like a flax egg, a chia egg, just like the equivalent of one egg. And then... This is always like so hard to get out. I am going to add in, well, I'm going to mix this up and then we are going to also add in some vanilla extract and some water and we're just going to mix again. And we want a really nice cake batter consistency here. I'm going to bake this in a sprayed loaf pan because that's a good size for this. And then we'll just bake it in the oven. I'm pretty sure I did 375 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes to 40 minutes. But again, just check the description box. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember these things off the top of my head. I guess I should write it down ahead of time. So throw it in the oven. And then when it's all done, it'll look like this. It gets a nice rise. And we can just remove it after it's cooled. I'm going to take like a little knife and help me to get it out. I'll put a dish over top and give it a flip. And voila. There we go. A protein cake. I had made, this is the vegan cream cheese I was telling you guys about. So I wanted to make like a fun frosting for this. So I took the vegan cream cheese and I scooped it into a little bowl and I added in some organic powdered sugar and a tiny bit of water and mix this up to make a frosting. And of course, if you want to just use like a regular cream cheese and add in like a little maple syrup, like a regular vegan cream cheese, add in a little maple syrup and then the powdered sugar and stuff, you could do that too. And then... Yeah, I let that thicken in the fridge for a little bit and then I just spread it on top of this delicious cake and this was so fun. It was really fun to have like a baked good every night this week and then I had some cinnamon so I put that on top to make it look pretty and there was our little protein cake. So I hope these recipes help you out. I hope you try them. If you try them, let me know what you think and again, just check out the description box for everything because it goes into all the specifics and thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i will see you soon with more recipes bye